AEW tried to change the narrative to something more positive on Friday night. During SmackDown, they issued a press release announcing that the AEW World Champion John Moxley has signed a five-year contract extension that will keep him with the company through at least 2027, while also expanding his roles into mentorship and coaching. AEW CEO, GM, and head of creative Tony Khan... They should have included All Elite Daycare Headmaster in that. Announced that AEW World Champion John Moxley has signed a five-year contract extension. Moving forward, Moxley will work exclusively for AEW and its international partners, including New Japan Pro Wrestling, where he is a two-time IWGP United States Champion. And Khan was quoted as saying, John is a great world champion for us in his third reign. His wrestling mind is invaluable. And our roster is lucky to have the opportunity to utilize him as a mentor and a coach as we continue to build the stars of today and tomorrow. Moxley said, I love AEW in the spirit of both the company and its fans. I cherish our shared passion for the sport of professional wrestling. And I'm going to dedicate everything I have in mind, body, and spirit to helping AEW be the best that it can be going forward. Per PW Insider, the deal was actually signed right around the time of the All Out pay-per-view. And at one point, Moxley's deal actually expired. And he was working on a handshake agreement until they finalized a new deal. But there was never any concern internally that he might be looking to go somewhere else. So that means when he squashed CM Punk, their biggest star, in three minutes on television to win the world title, he was working without a contract. Which is wild. Meltzer said they did add more time to his previous contract for the time he missed when he went to rehab, but that would have only extended him out to July. So he was technically a free agent for about five or six weeks until he put pen to paper on the new deal. He also said Moxley signed a five-year deal to shut down any rumors about him possibly going back to WWE, and that even though the contract allows for him to work independence with Tony Khan having to approve those dates first, He will be working fewer of them going forward because he wants to ease up on his schedule. Moxley is the ace of that company. He is a steady hand for them at a time when they really need that. And he is someone who, by all accounts, is a positive influence on that roster. Now more than ever, AEW needs someone like John Moxley. And I would argue, you know, this right here is Tony Khan's most important signing. Keeping John Moxley for another five years... He has been their most valuable player all year long. Of all the top former WWE names that I could see going back there in the next few years, Moxley was at the bottom of the list. Jericho I could see going back. Moxley, as someone who values his freedom and the ability to work indies and work New Japan, I don't see any good reason why he would want to leave, even with all the drama that's been going on and losing his vacation because his co-workers acted like children. I think he genuinely wants to help make that place better and make it as good as it can possibly be. He's not just in it for himself. He's not just in it for the money, which is part of what makes him so valuable to Tony Khan. And when the book is closed on John Moxley's career, he spent eight years with WWE, going back to his time in developmental. At the end of this contract with AEW, he will have been there for eight years. He will have spent as much time in AEW as he did in WWE. Maybe even longer. The Shield will always be a big part of his legacy. But the legacy that he is building right now in this company is going to be far more important. And his wife may be joining him soon in AEW as well. Fightful reports that sources in WWE believe that Rene Paquette will soon be working for AEW. And Louis Dangor of Give Me Sport was told WWE made inquiries to her as well. They were interested in bringing her back, but they believe that she is AEW bound. To be honest with you, I'm surprised it took this long. I figured she'd already be in by now. Despite reports on Wednesday that stated otherwise, Bandito has not signed his contract with AEW. Fightful reported on Wednesday that Bandito had signed his deal with Dave Meltzer confirming it later in the night. On Thursday, Meltzer reported that he was incorrect, and a source close to Bandito told him that he had not put pen to paper, at least as of Thursday, that was the case. He was offered a contract immediately after his AEW debut against Chris Jericho on Dynamite. In an interview with Mas Lucha, 
Bandito said that he is still in talks with AEW. He confirmed, though, that he did receive an offer from WWE. Bandito said Tony Khan and Chris Jericho pulled him aside right after the match on Dynamite to convince him to sign. And Tony Khan told him, I don't want you in AEW. I need you in AEW. He said AEW is likely where he is going to end up. You know, if he wants to work in New Japan uh, also, which I believe he does, then AEW is obviously the right place for him. But it's funny how you know Bandito has been available this entire time. But it was only after his match on Dynamite uh, got over the way it did that WWE all of a sudden sprung an offer on him. Uh, Meltzer also says that Kanosuke Takeshita is going to be back soon from Japan in the next few weeks. And uh, I read that and I thought to myself, Takeshita against Bandito. Please and thank you. 